let us see what is the use of small signal model the small signal model is used for designing analog circuits where signal variation is very small and IV characteristics can be approximated by a straight line now let us try to draw the small signal equivalent model for MOSFET in this particular thing we are dealing with NMOS let us see the small signal model for MOSFET in this we are considering NMOS which contains three terminals source gate and drain if you want you can write NMOS as NPN the same thing you can write here N P and N we already know that the direction of flow of current will be always from P to N and the aroma should be indicated only on source so we already know the working of bipolar junction transistor which contains three terminals emitter base and collector similarly now we are dealing with FET which contains source gate and drain in BJT RMR will be indicated on emitter terminal whereas in FET it will be on source so that's what I have taken here now let us see the small signal equivalent model for NMOS where body effect is not considered here you can see the symbol of NMOS which contains three terminals so in the same order we need to take here so this left hand side contains gate so I have taken gate here and at the ground part source is there so this complete line will be source and topmost is drain so here I have taken drain for all the MOSFETs whether it can be either NMOS or PMOS always the gate current IG will be 0 if gate current IG will be 0 then VGS will be 0 so this VGS 0 will be indicated by means of open circuit so that's what here I have taken VGS open circuited and generally we will apply input at this point between gate and source so we are done with this left hand side part now let us see here so we already know that the current will always flow from drain to source which is IDS or else you can consider it as ID drain current or IDS both are same but the flow of drain current IDS depends upon supply voltage VGS we already know from the working of NMOS whenever gate to source voltage is greater than or equal to threshold voltage there will be a formation of channel and when you are applying a supply voltage VDS there will be a flow of current called as IDS so this particular current that's the reason it is depending upon VGS so we have to write here as GM times VGS and the arrow mark will be downward if you observe it is from drain to source so that's the reason I have taken the arrow mark downward from drain to source and we are left with one more term which is R0 or RDS so as this resistance is present between drain and source you can write it as RDS or else you can write it as R0 but this is up to you whether if you are considering channel length modulation then only you can include this particular resistor if not you can ignore this particular part so this is the final small signal equivalent model for MOSFET whenever body effect is not considered now let us see what will be the modification if body effect is considered so everything is same again as we know that gate current IG will be 0 so VGS is 0 so it should be indicated with open circuit so here this is denoted with open circuit and between gate and source I will apply input so you can write here input between gate and source and we have already seen this one for the flow of current IDS it should be indicated with GM times VGS where this current is depending upon the voltage between gate and the source the two parameters which got added extra here is this one followed by this one so if body effect is considered into picture this particular term should be indicated and the arrow mark will be upward and it should be written something like this which is GMB times VBS here BS indicates body and this is source so generally we write it as VSB or else VBS B means body bulk S means source so you can write it as GMB times VBS if not you can write it as GS times VS everything is fine only this particular parameter should be added if body effect is considered into the picture and I have already told you that R0 or RDS should be taken into the picture if channel length modulation is taken and if there are any extra components that are connected 
to the source then only we have to write this particular element so you'll get to get a clear idea about this whenever we are dealing with a concept called as common source common gate and common drain amplifiers then we shall see this different kinds of small signal equivalent models so as of now you try to remember only these two parameters so these two parameters get added extra whenever body effect is considered rest everything will be same as your small signal model if body effect is not considered